Alright, so this is video part two. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't trust it. So, anyway, this one right here that I hid, the original, I'm gonna wipe out the history. This is over here, Polymania. This one does not have history, so that's good. So I want this one, All right? That's good. Okay, that's that. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Uh, I. Oh, right, right, that's a base. Okay, good. I think these are uh, made by accident. Delete it. Okay, so um, let's grab this. So I cannot guarantee this is gonna work, right? I'm gonna use a multi-cut option box. Uh, set this to one. Default is uh, 10, set it to one. Click on ignore back faces. That way, it might, it'll not select the the uh, the flip side. Click that on. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's it. Then close. All right. So I'm in my front. I'm gonna Turn on Object X. Oh God! I'll turn it off. It's it's not cooperating because of the symmetry. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna click. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm gonna turn it back on. I'm gonna try to work with it right here. See. What, Right when it turns blue, click snap. Then I'm gonna click here. Like this much distance, I'm gonna click here. Again, I'm in my front view. Uh, aligning with that point, I'm gonna click snap. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna click. God. Come on. Click, snap. Press W to get out of the tool. So I made that. I'm gonna press G. Okay, that didn't work. Shift, right click, multi cut. I'm gonna click here, snap. Click here. It turns blue, click, snap. Press W, get out of the tool. Press G, as in George, to reactivate the tool. I'm gonna click, snap. Click, don't let go. Now let go. I'm gonna click, snap. Press G, as in George, to finish the tool. Press G again to reactivate the tool. I'm gonna click, snap. Click, click, snap. Press G as in George to finish the tool. Press G as in George to reactivate. Click, snap, click, and then click, snap. Press G as in George to finish the tool. Press G as in George to reactivate it. Click, snap. 
Come on. Be nice. Come on. Good. Come on. Please? Please work with me, huh? Alright. It's being stubborn. Um now I'm press Jason George. Reactivate it. I'm gonna click snap. I'm gonna come on. Why aren't you working with me, man? see what's going on All right there's whoa what the hell Control Z, as in Z, Control Z. Look at that. What the hell? <sighs> okay, let me see what I can do about this. Alright, so um, I have no choice. I have to do the original way of um, symmetry modeling because uh, this uh, this way of uh, doing symmetry modeling is acting up on me, right? And so face mode, press four, wireframe unshaded, right? So this part. Right, no good, so I'm gonna go click out here. Oh god, turn this off. Click out here, I'm in face mode. Press 4, right? I'm gonna delete that, that backspace. With that selected, I'm gonna delete history. Zoom in. Make sure this middle line is clean. Right click, vertex mode. Grab all of that. And this is just, just to make safe. Press R. Then I'm gonna flatten it. I mean, it's, it looks already flat, but just in case. Then I'm gonna hold X, as in X-ray. Just to make sure it's snapping. All right, so everything is just to make sure. It will already look good anyway, but you just never know. Then I'm gonna go, I'm in object mode in green, edit, duplicate special option box. All right, let's edit, duplicate special option box. So this is the default. I'm gonna set it to instance. I'm gonna set my scale minus one. So this is X column for X, this is Y column, up and down, Z column is front and back. I'm gonna make it duplicate on the flip side of X. So this is negative one. This here is a positive one. And when I make a copy to negative one, it's gonna flip. So I'm just explaining what the hell all this is. Apply. Apply. There's that. I'm gonna name this uh, uh, R for right, L for left. So now this is this is a true instance. I didn't show this before because I didn't want to overwhelm students, but now it looks like it's necessary. Uh, select that. Shift right click, multi cut. I'm gonna click, click, then click, click, press W. Right now it's working. Press G as in George, click. 
click, 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 press W, get out of the tool, press G as in George, click, 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 press W, get out of the tool, press G as in George, click, click, snap, click, click, snap, press W, get out of the tool, press G as in George, click, click, press W, bam, next, press G as in George, click, snap, click, I just don't want pinching. There. Press W. Boom. All right. Alt five. Don't mind the seam line. This can be fixed. The main issue is this. So it's still doing that. And it's partially. Still goddamn folding in. Alright, whatever. So, what I'm gonna do is I want this to bridge edge mode. I'm click, press Q to get rid of to hide the tool. Q is in Q tip. And I'm gonna double click. Nope. I'm gonna click and click. Just those right there. Shift right click, bridge, bam. I'm gonna do an incremental save, control alt s. I'm gonna grab this and this. Alright, and my tool is hidden. Usually it's that, but it's getting in my way, so that's why I press Q is in Q tip to hide it. Alright, it's useful. Uh, shift right click. Bridge, same thing. Let's see if I can click. Oh, I selected that by accident. See, click. Okay, no. I'm in the inside now. Click, 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 click. Maybe I can bridge multiple at a time. Three of those. Press Jason George. Bam. Now, yeah, it works. Now, good, good. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Press G as in George, bam. Okay. Then I'm gonna go inside. Shift right click. First I'm gonna save. Control or S. Then I'm gonna grab uh one second. Don't do this. Whatever I'm gonna do next, don't do this. Okay, good. All right, so right here has history, All right? So I'm gonna grab this side, I'm gonna go delete by type history, this one, get rid of it. Then I'm gonna go shift right click, insert edge loop, option box. Reset. Just in case, close, because when I reset it, it will go interactive place wherever I want. Click. Press uh, 3. Oh boy, this is, uh, so this is what I mean by I can't guarantee it's going to work. The reason why is... The reason why is that they, these guys have to bridge outward. And that's where uh, that's where things get really ugly. Um, see, because if I bridge outward like this, right? Right. I have to go like this. See, then it starts to uh, come together. 
But the problem is, the more uh, edges you add, right? The more you gotta connect. See? That's why, um, the more you connect, the more firm these things end up being. They stiffen up. But right now it looks okay. Alright. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. Like this, like this, right? This is torture, but uh, whatever. At least right now it's behaving. If you guys remember this from the intro videos, and I can't extrude this out, you know, like in the in the other tutorials, I had extruded out the lid from the cube and cylinder modeling tutorial. This one is more complicated. to hold in place slowly um, G is in George and uh, go click here and here like that I'm not giving I'm opening it up more and more so you're just seeing the behavior of the 3d model see see how it's kind of holding coming together see that it's not collapsing so this is uh, what I taught you guys about sub D modeling and then uh, something like that see but then see right here you see this dent see right here So I'm going to, um, oh geez, that's 17 minutes. All right, um, I'm going to cut it short, right? Uh, I think this is still salvageable because I can go in and I can grab, uh, like, say, this. I can grab this. I can tuck that up so that it becomes a nice round. See what I'm doing? So you can make it um, see. Zoom in. Uh, maybe push that in a bit. Carefully push that in. Grab that. Push that out. Push that out. It's just so that the curvature is, um, you know, is is acceptable. Don't mind the seam; that's that can be fixed. Yeah. Let me just try this out. Denting in, but I can go in and um, or I don't want to. I, I don't know if I should screw with this. I can grab this and this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. No. Nope. I'm gonna undo these two. This and this. Undo. Undo. That way, this flatness is going to be maintained. 
But see, it's coming together. Just gotta be super patient with it. All right, so that was uh, 20 minutes. I'm gonna end that short, right? And I'm gonna just try to do one more. I'm gonna try to do one more because I gotta move on to other students. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna delete history. Okay, and uh, all right, I'm gonna try to do one more and uh, we'll go from there. Bye.